Welcome, I'm Dee, and I just did a major haul that came to, how much, Jesse? 857 dollars $57, something like that. Uh, and I have, if you look over here, a ton of meat and things like that. I have to process this and package it. I've just got a little wee freezer here in my apartment. But I do have a big upright freezer at my door. I keep it my daughter's. I let her have half and I have the other half. So this is has to be packaged up individual in you know portions and brought over there. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with everything. What I like about uh, this big bag of shrimp is it has four individual packages inside. So what I do is keep one in my freezer here and I close it up and this will go to my big freezer at my daughter's house. So with these, I take them out of the box, but I used to keep them in the bag, but chicken fingers, uh, chicken breast fillets, look very similar and one day I thought we were having chicken but it ended up being fish. Well half of us ate chicken, half of us ate fish. Um, that was awkward. So what I'm going to do is just put these in a Ziploc bag and label them with what exactly they are and I'm going to keep this whole thing here. And I'm going to do the same thing with the crispy chicken. Boxes take up so much room and I just think it's a lot easier just to take everything out and prep it and then you're just done with it. What I'm going to do with the chicken breasts is I'm just going to place them on this uh, cookie sheet. I don't have time for them to, I put a little uh, spray on this. I, I don't have time to let these uh, freeze completely. I just want to get them kind of surface frozen so that I can throw them in Ziploc bags. I used to put like two to a small Ziploc bag, uh, but then you'd have to unthaw both of them because they kind of all stick together. This way, these will all go in one big bag and I can just go in and take out how many breasts I need. The bags these come in are nice, they're resealable, but I find that the chickens stick together and it takes up too much room. So I'm going to individually package these. Uh, the crispy chicken, the fish, and um, numerous chicken breasts will stay here. And we're going to keep one chicken here and the other two I'm going to package up to go in the freezer at my daughter's. Okay, these uh, were $10 and you got three packages of them. I, I don't know how one, well you have at least I would say 12, maybe 15 in here. It doesn't say on the package. These are massive. Look at the size of them. Uh, so we're going to keep one here and the other two. I'm just going to keep them in their original packages like this. And they go in the big freezer. Well, we'll only maybe eat um, half of one of these roasts at a time. I'm going to package them uh, just as two individual ones and not cut them. Uh, these type of things we often like uh, for leftovers or to make something different out of them. Uh, so this will only give us two meals. This doing beef, I, uh, this is a package was $30. I generally just do it among uh, three bags. So it's about $10 a serving. I, I don't uh, cut off any extra fat or anything. It, it's very lean as it is. If there's like a terrible piece, I'll throw it out or, well, I give it to the dog. Uh, but anything I want to fine tune and uh, cut excess fat off, I do once I unthaw it. 
Now there's quite a bit of meat at the normal grocery store. I wouldn't get that much uh, for $10 and the pieces tend to be very small. I like the nice big chunks because I can leave them that way or cut them smaller. I have that choice. I do uh, say what the, it's in them and I do date them. Because I ha have a freezer, I'm starting to stockpile in at my daughter's and I have one here. I don't want to lose track of what's there, so I've actually started a little, I write it down now, so I know exactly what's in the freezer over there. That helps me know what to buy next. It's really hard when your freezer doesn't live where you do. Our, chi our chicken wings, we uh, normally divide into two. We really like chicken wings. Uh, but the thing is, is Jesse is only likes the drumsticks and I only like the other part so it works out perfectly so what I actually do is make sure there's an equal number of each uh, in each package so that we both get the same amount it, it takes a minute more but it's worth it to us the second package of uh, chicken breasts are in the fridge because we have to let wait till the first package is, uh, is frozen. So what I'm going to do is this is all that's left I need to do. I'm going to take equal, well I'm going to take this and about an equal part of this and I'm going to make a meatloaf with it and then the rest I'm going to individually package uh, so we can have it as just hamburgers or something. I actually like to weigh mine um, and put them in one pound packages and a lunch size bag uh, fits one pound perfectly. If you're trying to figure out how much, you know, if you don't have a scale and you're trying to figure out how much um, is one pound, uh, I'll show you. Now that's exactly a pound. So you can see it's about the width, you know, about the thickness of a hamburger. There you go. So all I have left to do is prepare the meatloaves. I don't have a specific recipe, I never have. I don't know whether my meatloaf is any good, but everybody likes it. So, uh, hey, nobody complains and they eat it all. So I've just got maybe a little more uh, beef than I do uh, ground pork. I have some Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, a little bit of barbecue sauce, some ketchup, some mustard, a uh, load of granulated garlic, I have issues, um, some minced onion, about four tablespoons of brown sugar, salt, pepper, and a couple of eggs. And I'm just going to mix this up. Okay, so I managed to get four meatloaves they're not huge uh, but they're plenty big for just Jesse and I and four one pound packages of hamburger out of that big package of meat and the package of ground pork so that's really good I know a lot of people now uh, you know cook all their ground beef up uh, and then freeze it I I don't think I'd use it that way. I don't mind freezing ground beef if it's, if it's in something, uh, you know, like pasta sauce or something, but I don't know about uh, just cooking it to freeze it. I do it that day. Uh, so, you know, not a whole lot of processing, just repackaging in sizes and that, but I wanted to take you through what I'm doing. I'm really trying to stock up. Um, just so I feel more secure about Jesse and I because you know world's a crazy place and it's nice feeling that you can go a month or maybe two if you had to without going to the grocery store uh, I'm on my way to that I'm getting pretty close thank you so much uh, for joining me and uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button or the notification bell if you want to see uh, more videos from me thank you so much for watching